just before Jesus ascended and after his resurrection, he gave a very important command to his disciples. He said, and it reads, Then Jesus said, so then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Now, this is, the, of course, the Great Commission in um, um, Matthew chapter 28, uh, verses 18 through 20. And um, this is um, obviously, and it, it's a very important command. And um, the key part, <coughs> excuse me, the key part um, that I want to highlight in this is that there's three pieces. One, go, you know, it's like go out, you know, make disciples, teach them to obey everything I commanded you. So what I'm getting from this is that if you are a disciple of Christ, then you are commanded to make disciples. So how do you make disciples, you might ask? Well, uh, Jesus answered it in it's so it's all contained in this in the Great Commission. Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And so it's just like in the, the movie Karate Kid, the master gave instructions and the disciple disciplined himself and trained himself to obey the instructions. And as long as he obeys the instructions, he is a disciple of the karate master. So likewise, you know, I think, you know, the Great Commission passage has an interesting connection, interestingly enough, to the Lord's Prayer, which part of it which says, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You see, it's all about the gospel of the kingdom. So you ask yourself, what does his kingdom look like? Would there be theft in his kingdom? Would there be murder in his kingdom? Would there be bullying in his kingdom? Would there be lying and deception in his kingdom? Would people consider others more important than themselves in his kingdom? Would we outdo one another in honoring others in his kingdom? Would we love one another even as Jesus loved us and lay down our lives for others in his kingdom? So this is, you know, taking what does his kingdom look like and what could it look like in the town of Taos? Now, currently we are exiles in the nations. So, we're, you know, we've been scattered to all the nations uh, waiting for his return. Um, when he will gather all of his disciples from all the nations and this is uh, a reference to Deuteronomy chapter 30. If you read De Deuteronomy chapter 30, you'll see this, um, this uh, prophecy. Um, so when Jesus returns, he will gather all of his disciples from all the nations and bring them to the promised land once again, just like Moses brought the Israelites out of a single nation, namely Egypt. So um, as exiles in the nations, we do not have the authority to impose or enforce the commands of Jesus by our own power. Only Jesus, the righteous judge, to whom all authority has been given, as shown in uh, verse 18 of the Great Commission, only Jesus has, um, only Jesus, the righteous judge, to whom all authority has been given, can enforce his commands and judge the people or train, train us to be righteous judges to all the nations, as shown in Revelation, uh, the, the thousand-year reign. This, um, but what we can do and what we are actually commanded to, to do 
is to make disciples by teaching them to obey everything Jesus has commanded us. This we can do. And I believe that the Great Commission is an integral part of the fulfillment or how, or how his kingdom comes to the earth. For we are ready for him, just like the smart virgins with the oil in their lamps were ready for the bridegroom. So I think the Great Commission is an integral part of fulfilling the, you know, the part in the prayer. It's like, you know, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So I invite you to join us and to go to the gazebo in the Taos Plaza at noon on Monday, November 29th at, at noon and walk and we'll gather there and then we'll walk the streets of Taos, New Mexico and ask the Father to send his Holy Spirit to reveal to us the people in Taos that welcome the possibility of discovering in the Holy Bible the magnificent kingdom of God that we can prepare ourselves for. We can actually prepare ourselves for it by becoming disciples, by um, teaching others to obey everything that I've commanded you and obviously obey everything that Jesus has commanded us. Um, so, so again, I, so I invite you to, you know, to come walk with us, a prayer walk uh, in the town of Taos and ask the Father to send the Holy Spirit to reveal to us the people in Taos that welcome the possibility of discovering in the Holy Bible the magnificent kingdom of God that we can prepare ourselves for by becoming disciples of Jesus, to love God with all our hearts, with all our soul and all our strength, to learn of his holy ways and transform our lives and transform the town of Taos as we dis discipline ourselves to walk in obedience to his ways, to his good, right, and just commands. If you would like to uh, meet with us at the gazebo on uh, noon on Monday the 29th, um, you can contact me at this email address. Hopefully it should come through legibly. Um, at this email address, uh, please contact me here and I'll give you, I'll fill you in on all, all the details. Okay. And may Jesus bless you.